Scratch is widely known as a beginner-friendly and accessible platform to make games. It's ideal for introducing children to fundamental programming and game design concepts. The games on there are family-friendly with colorful sprites and backgrounds. However, today I want to change that. I'm going to challenge myself to make a horror game in Scratch in 30 minutes, 10 minutes, and finally, 1 minute. Also, this is literally my first time using Scratch, but I mean, how hard can it be? Alright, I opened up a new Scratch project. It is time to start a timer of 30 minutes. Alright, for this game, I'm thinking we can have enemies flying in from the right to left and the player can use the mouse, hold the character and move it up and down. Alright, so I want to make this scary. So let's make this darker. There you go. I think we can remove the smile. Alright, there you go. Okay, so we can remove this, 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 this. All right, I don't know. It's not looking too scary, but it's fine. We're going to have a jump scare regardless. All right, evil twin brother of Scratch Cat, and we can call it Brat. So we're going to want this to fly in from this side, and the player just needs to avoid them. So let's also add in a backdrop, either a castle or like Night City can work. Actually makes it tough. You barely see their body. Maybe I'll change the background then. Change it to castle. Pretend that this is a horror castle. Let's add a main character as well. Who should the main character be? You can be Pico. You can create a clone of myself. We need a time to wait. Find a pick random. Yeah, pick random. Between 0 0.5, 1 second. And so when I start as a clone, I want it to go to the right side of the screen. Go to this. So we want it to be 240. Oh damn, we got 17 minutes left. Right here, point towards Pico. Forever, three steps. And so that should lead you to Pico. If I run it, yeah, you just have a bunch of them moving towards pico actually not just pico you want to just make them move towards left side of the screen yeah actually kind of messed up and i want them to get destroyed when they reach the left side damn 15 minutes left we actually want it to just move straight to the left side because if it keeps pointing towards pico then it's going to be difficult to dodge i don't know why i didn't think of that before point in direction minus 90 there you go okay yeah i want i, I need them to despawn at the end instead of forever I'm going to change it to repeat until then you want to do the clone. So what are we repeating until? We're repeating until touching edge. Let's see if this works. Oh, uh, because it's already touching the edge. And so we're going to push them out so they don't touch the edge right in the beginning. And so now you have them spawning right here and they'll go and they'll touch the edge and we can destroy them as soon as they're touching the edge. Let's see going and they're getting destroyed when they touch the edge so now we need to make it so that control the player and if they touch the player a jump scare happens and we literally have less than 10 minutes to do this so when the game is started we want the player to forever follow the mouse cursor forever block to so go to x position y position it's not really working all right let's try go to pointer instead and see what happens there you go we have them flying at the player and you need to just dodge. Wait, the initial one doesn't run. Man, we don't have time for this. We only have less than seven minutes remaining. Okay, so I can hide the original and show the clones. There you go. If touching Pico, then we need the jump scare to happen. I can broadcast game over. I'm gonna find a image quickly with less than four minutes left okay this works when i receive game over but we wanted to show so we need to record a quick sound two minutes and 18 seconds left to record quickly ah i think i think that's great so call it scare play sound scare and when i receive jump scare i should just do a stop all okay, let's see if it works so pico is showing um audio wasn't playing i think audio didn't play because of the game over so to hide pico when I receive game over, we can do hide, make variable, score. If it's touching the edge, then we increment the score. And yep, zero seconds. So let's test it. All right, we're dodging them. Score is incrementing. Easy so far. Oh, ah, amazing. This time we have 10 minutes on the clock. All right, so what I'm thinking is we can have it as a maze game. So for the player, we can make it. We can make the player a ball when this is started forever go to mouse pointer all right so let's run this and yeah there you go all right so now we can quickly make a maze we have less than nine minutes left so i'm just gonna paint let's make it black so you start at the bottom you go across oh that's going to tight fit all right scuffed maze we have seven minutes left so i, I should probably hurry up 
All right, I should have just made a bit thicker. What do you mean by that? If it touches the ball, receive game over and just hide, hide the ball. Okay, and we just need a quick jump scare sprite with only less than two minutes left. Let's grab this one and just fill the background as black. Okay, so now we need logic on this quickly with 57 seconds left. So when I receive game over, then you show. This is fine. When I receive game over, play sound a bass. Timer is done. Going through the maze, going through the maze. This part's easy. This part is becomes more difficult. All right, all right. Going through, going through. Oh my god. Before we move on to the final one minute challenge, making games involves programming fundamentals and if you're looking for an easy way to learn, then you're in luck because Brilliant.org is the best place to learn interactive math, science, and computer science. Brilliant is designed to be fun and interactive with thousands of created lessons that take you from beginner to advanced easily. With the AI hype, I decided to go through their How LLMs Work course to help better understand large language models. I was pleasantly surprised that the course is very engaging and interactive with puzzles and questions. This platform is great for consuming content content in bite-sized chunks. So whether you're a student or a professional, you can try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days by visiting brilliant.org slash usmandev or by clicking the link in the description below. The first 200 of you will receive 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. All right, it's the final challenge. Can I make a scratch horror game in one minute? Well, I'm going to start the one minute timer now. Okay, okay, quickly move this. Um, I'm gonna put uh, something that I can click. Uh, this button work um and then let's find a horror cat good oh right here okay we're at 35 seconds left when this is clicked i wanted to hide so wait one second so one second to click the button so we need to check for the mouse click if not if not with 15 seconds left broadcast we need to show this play a sound sound this right here Choose this and receive message one i want it to hide Timer is done. Now it's time to test and see if it works. And so if I run it and don't press the button. Whoa, startled me there. Okay, yeah, good. The jump scare happens. And if I do press the button, the jump scare doesn't happen. Also, I just launched my newsletter, codewealth.io, where it's all about how to make money with code. So if you're interested, go subscribe.